This is the iron worker machine. It's a 120 ton large scissor. It's essentially a scissor. Two blades go past one another to, to shear slabs of steel. They have to be solid. You can't do a, a tube of some sort because it would just flatten the tube, but it wouldn't cut it. Uh, why is it important? Basically, any kind of metal like this, um, you can cut essentially goes up and down a couple of seconds and you can cut up to one by 10 inch steel on this machine. Very important. It would take you much longer to do that with a torch, to do it with a band. So it would take you tens of minutes probably, or 10 minutes or so. So here it's a very quick machine. It's hydraulically operated from one of our power cubes, very large force using a big cylinder that moves up and down. There's leverage that gets multiplied. So you're actually pushing down with about 120 tons at the blade, which means a heavy duty machine, about three inches thick of metal on the body itself. The workhorse of any preparatory fabrication where you're cutting out parts. You can also do angle here using this blade. And we also don't, do not have a punch element, but a punch element could go here so it can be punching holes like with our other iron worker punch. Now the safety here, of course, get, keep your hands clear of the blade. The other part is that you're working with high pressure hydraulics, wear goggles in case there's a hose that bursts, that pressure is at 3,000 pounds per square inch. Um, other than that, there's the clamp where when you put the piece of metal in here, you clamp it down just, just by hand because the other part of the metal, once you're cutting, tends to move up. Now the only thing that can really be dangerous is if by any chance this clamp breaks and this piece, metal piece keeps fl gets flying and you can get really hurt, but that, that's never happened here yet. Uh, but it can happen, so never put your head over this when you're working, just stay back here, put your material in there. Why is it important? The critical work, workhorse tool and the safety is what I mentioned. And without this, this, is, uh, this really saves the time on flat, solid pieces that you have to shear in a couple of seconds. It took us six months to do it. Now, when, after thinking about it, thinking about optimization, we said, okay, that's way too much, too many custom parts, uh, too much actually milling and other operations. So we decided to build this out of our, con uh, out of our modular tubing and it took us 12 hours to build this. And still, this got us to a cut of one by 10. You actually see it's actually bent a little bit because we did destructive testing to reach one by 10. We think it's rated to perhaps one by six or one by eight for the amount that it can cut.